Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here with a first impressions video of the brand new Sims 4 game expansion that was just announced at GamesCon in Cologne, Germany earlier today. Uh, it's called the Sims 4 Get Together and this is... I'm, I'm about to show you guys the official announcement trailer from The Sims 4 and EA, which you can also view on The Sims 4 official YouTube um, or their website. Uh, Sims VIP also has a link there if you want to kind of go back and watch it in more detail. But anyways, this is going to be my first impressions video of it. And uh, I'll get to that once we go through this trailer. But... I might stop and start it a little bit. So if you guys want to watch it in full undisrupted, uh, go do that on, on the Sims 4 YouTube page or simsvip.com and then come back here to hear what I have to say about it if you would like to. So anyways, basically, um, this is a new world, which is really exciting. And it's basically going to have a bit of a European feel about it, which I think is pretty obvious from um, the architecture of the homes and, you know, this beautiful fountain and the, the city square kind of feel about it. And, you know, we've got some new hair. I'm really excited about this hair. We've got some new clothes and uh, I think these are new tables, actually. So there's also a few items here. I think that's an espresso or a cappuccino right there. So we're going to have coffee in The Sims 4, which I know a lot of you guys have been looking forward to that. And I think we've got a new a new light coming down uh, from the ceiling, some new paintings. And this guy's enjoying what looks very much like a beer. But I know in The Sims 4, they're not going to call it beer. At least I don't think so. Um, we've got some flirtation going on here uh, but really this expansion pack's all about being social with the other sims by the sounds of it and I think we've got some different looking phones new outfits like I just said I love this I've always wanted a top with this bow kind of thing on it um, but I've never really committed to buying a top like that even though I've always wanted one this top's looking really nice too lovely skirts um, they're a little bit more a-line and relaxed which this is definitely something I'm into in this world. Looks really, really gorgeous. Uh, I do like it a lot. One bone I do have to pick. I'm realizing that they're actually including a lot of hair. I'm loving the new hairs in this expansion, by the way. But, you know, they're including items like hair, uh, other bits and bobs that have actually come with other Sims 4 expansions and stuff packs that haven't been in the base game. I think it's actually confusing because you think, oh, maybe that's all going to come with this expansion pack, which I doubt that it is. Uh, but do let me know in the comments down below what you think of that. I just I, I just think it's better to keep with base game and expansion pack only because from memory, did they do that in The Sims 3? I don't think they did. Could be wrong though. Uh, do correct me if I'm wrong. Now, this is a sight for sore eyes. This is gorgeous. So... Basically, I'm just going to take it back a second, but this looks like a pond or a river that Sims can swim in. And this over like bird's eye view is just gorgeous. I love this. I love the lily pads. I love kind of this algae and this steaming, uh, steaming texture or graphic that's coming up. So it looks like there's almost a warmth about this environment. Um, and well, either it's warmer in the water or warmer out of the water, uh, which is really nice. So... The exciting part of that is that the Sims are swimming not in a pool and not in a fountain by the looks of it, unless they're adding new pool colors or fountain colors, because it's a little bit too green to be a pool, I think, in my opinion. This is pretty cool. This is like a ruins, uh, like old ruins where they're hosting a DJ party. I hope that we can build whatever we want in those ruins. I wonder if that's going to be incorporated into the world or if that's actually going to be an object we can place. That will be interesting. Uh, but here we are at the bar. So we've got new drinks there, beer type things, stained glass windows, new clothes. This looks pretty new to me. Uh, is this a new bracelet? Set of bracelets. That's cool. Uh, but here we are. We have another view of the lakey type thing. Uh, so it does have an edge. So it kind of makes me think possibly we could build that. But I don't... I don't know. I think this is going to be incorporated in the world. That's what that's what I'm guessing. And 
if it is, that's so cool that The Sims can now jump into that world, utilize that world environment without us necessarily building it or placing it, uh, which kind of adds a new... Well, that girl's really skinny. Um, adds a new kind of dimension to the Sims 4 game that you can jump into that world that you're in rather than it just being there for decorative reasons. Loving those backflips on the D floor. And obviously we've got a bit of fire and romance going on here. This is cool. These are new built-in wardrobes. So awesome. Uh, we haven't had that since the Sims 2. So that's very exciting to have some built-in wardrobes. I think there's only one kind of wardrobe by the looks of it, but it looks like you can go in and have a bit of a wardrobe sneaky woohoo in there, or at least muck around. The girls are dancing in time there, which I'm impressed by, and having a bit of a boogie. But anyways, it says explore a beautiful world, make new friends, and live it up. I just wanted to really say what my first impression was of the new Sims 4 get together uh, announcement really, because we don't know what else is going to be in the game just yet. Like we haven't obviously seen anything more than the trailer and what was presented at Gamescon. So keeping that in mind, you know, there might be a lot more to come and this is just my first impression. But what I think so far is that, yes, I'm excited for new content. Yes, I'm going to purchase this because I love The Sims and yes, I appreciate the effort and work that has gone into the ex this expansion, obviously, um, but I have to be honest and I have to say that I am a little bit disappointed with what this expansion pack is about because I don't feel like this is actually bringing anything ex really extremely exciting or new to the game. And yes, this is a new expansion. Obviously, we have new things in it, but it's nothing drastically different to what we already have in the game. So, you know, th this is obviously emphasizing partying and socializing. And you know what? There's a DJ in the ruins. Uh, you know, ruins are cool. I love that. And I love the DJ aspect. But I'm like, there are things that I would rather have in the game than my sim be able to DJ or do new dance moves or order new kinds of drinks from their bars or the bonfire is cool, but we already kind of have fires. We've done the camping fire thing. Like I just wanted to see something completely different. Like, I don't know, high rise buildings or, or, you know, not necessarily gameplay we've seen before, like the Sims for the Sims three pets or supernatural but at least those are entirely different things you can bring to the game like whether maybe it was like the sims 4 space where you could go to space and build like a space plant or something or I don't know I just felt like this expansion pack it doesn't really feel like an expansion pack to me at this stage it feels like a game pack okay it feels like a new world with new things to do but it doesn't feel like it's bringing anything super exciting and new to the game in all fairness, though, obviously the Sims 4 team have worked really hard on this. I also think maybe the marketing of this has been a little bit unclear and maybe perhaps that's because of the theme not being so clear. The Sims 4 get together. When you first watch this trailer, you don't get what it's about. At least I didn't. And I know like heaps of people on Twitter didn't get it either because I was sitting there reading other people's tweets because I'm like, am I just being a derpy deli? Am I just not really understanding this? Like, am I missing the point of this? But no, I read Twitter. People are like, I don't really get what this expansion pack is. And it might just be the nature of the pack, you know, being social, being able to do lots of new social things is a little bit wishy-washy. Like, it's not like The Sims... Um, I'm just trying to think of something off the top of my head. Uh, the Sims 3 Island Paradise. Okay, that obviously it was really obvious because you're, you're making islands, you're making resorts, you know. It's, pretty, it's a pretty compact idea, whereas the Sims get together, I don't know. It doesn't really have a strong sense of context. So um, I think a lot of people are confused by this. And to be honest, the Gamescon, even though I wasn't there in Germany, the Gamescon presentation, at least streaming online, didn't translate that well either. Um, just a bit confusing. I loved the introduction video where they used actual humans 
appearing to control other humans around them. Uh, so it wasn't the Sims characters, it was actually people. And I liked that because it kind of went back to the Sims 4 original launch where they had humans kind of looking up at the sky and then Sims kind of dropping into the camera view. And that was really cool. Um, so I liked that. But at the same time, it was very disconnected from the Sims get together expansion itself, because really they needed to put some Sims into that footage, I think, to really get that message across. In my personal opinion, <laughs> all right. Um, I still loved the idea behind it though. I just wish that it was a bit more connected. And when Rachel came on stage, as always, she's an amazing speaker. Um, she's just, you know, she's got a great sense of presence. She speaks really well and really clearly. So I think she did a great job. Um, but playing the trailer, what she said was great playing the trailer. I mean, as I just said, I don't feel like the trailer is very clear. Uh, it just, I don't know. It's, I guess it's as clear as it can be judging by what the expansion pack is going to be from this stage. Uh, or maybe they wanted to kind of have a sense of mystery about the expansion pack, but I don't know. I think it's difficult to get excited about something when you can't really grasp what you're going to be able to do with it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to be playing yet. And so I can't, I'm just like, I don't know. Yes, I'm going to buy it, of course, but it just confused me a little bit. And then at the end, um, they did get some dances in onto the stage, which was fun. Um, I, I liked it, but I'm not sure if that was received too well by the audience. I'm not sure if people found it a little bit awkward, getting dances up on there. Um, I don't know. I, I didn't mind it. I thought it was fun loving, but yeah, I don't know. I don't, I'm just not, I'm just not, I don't know. I'm just not as into this expansion pack as I was with Get to Work. Get to Work seemed a, just a lot more solid maybe like who knows but at this stage to me it looks like this expansion pack isn't it doesn't have as much depth at this stage as the sims 4 gets work appeared to have in its first trailer launch or insight that we got about it so that's basically my opinion um i am excited about the hair the hair looks good i think the world's lovely i think it's nice to uh add a bit of a european influence into the game because Really, the game's mostly um, really Americanized at this point, I think, um, in my opinion. So it's nice to have a bit of that European vibe to it. And I think a lot of European players, because there's, there's so many players in Europe, um, well, really, there is everywhere, but there is a really big fandom uh, from all around Europe, especially in like... Sweden I think you guys in Sweden are really into this game in the Netherlands uh so you know it's nice to give a shout out um but yeah that's pretty much my first impression uh as I said there's more time to come they're going to be working on this more so I think it comes out in November so I mean I don't want to jump the gun too much but I wanted to review this in an honest way so maybe if they do watch this next time they can really hit the nail on the head with the hammer a bit more in my opinion, that's it, but let me know what you guys think. Hey anyway, guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll speak to you soon.